What causes these imbalances in methylation? So there are a couple of factors. One is genes play an important role in it. There are several genes. One of the classic ones that people think about is a gene called MTHFR. What that is involved in is it's involved in folate metabolism. It's very common to have variants in this gene. About 70% of the population has at least one gene variant in MTHFR. And these variants can lead to decreased efficiency of the enzyme that the gene encodes. Essentially, it means that their methylation cycle becomes a little bit slower. It's a little more sluggish. How would somebody know to even think in that direction? What might they be presented with or might, what might they be struggling with yeah. that methylation comes up as a potential problem? So methylation, either not enough or too much, can be associated with a number of different symptoms. One is brain fog. And so we think of brain fog as being related to gut health sometimes. It can also be related to methylation. Sometimes depression and anxiety can actually be associated with impaired methylation. Some cancers are associated with too much or too little methylation. Chronic fatigue is something that might happen with impaired methylation. Or a sense of kind of being fidgety or kind of having too much energy can also be part of methylation. And so it's actually, it can show up in a lot of different ways. It's kind of a chameleon in that regard.